Art can be created in many different ways, from drawing to painting. There are a lot of different ways and different avenues. Well, at the Union Gospel Mission, they are using a creative outlet for guests and community members. In tonight's Eye on Land, Sarah McDonald explains how they're hoping to reach even more people. It may be hard to imagine, but this area in the Union Gospel Mission used to be an unused storage space. Now it's been transformed into an art studio. It's thanks in part to Heather Crank, who is now in Human Resources and the Director of Arts at UGM. I was at a prayer service at my church, and God spoke that I was supposed to be doing art with people who were waiting, and I didn't know for sure where that was. So I asked my pastor after prayer service what he thought that could mean, and he said, well, funny you should say that, because I'm going to have lunch with the new CEO at the Union Gospel Mission tomorrow. So I'll ask him if there's anything art-related you could do. That eventually led to her meeting with the CEO. He said, if you want to set up an art area in here, go for it, and so I came and and the rest is kind of history. Now the walls are filled with artwork and the shelves are stocked with paint. It's a space that's used each week. We use the art studio every week for men, women, and children that we serve, but it's also open to the community. The art program is just a really big part of what we do. And um, I know that our guests, I mean, I just hear stories of our guests uh, that have enjoyed it and it's just been a different outlet than you know some shelters. Heckel says art can be a way to help with the healing process. What we're doing is working and so they are going kind of from dark to light because they're be being able to kind of go out of that darkness and finding positivity and finding things that are, that are making them happy again or making them be positive and think positively and it's just kind of neat to see that process. The art studio is open on Tuesdays from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. It's free and open to anyone who would like to participate. A partnership with ARSA, which is a local nonprofit, helps make that happen. I'll come in and assist Heather, help paint, help give advice to people who come in and um, want to have free art that they get to just hang out and chill and experiment with their own pieces. CEO and founder of ARSA, Hannah Van Steenwick, has been working with the Union Gospel Mission over the last few months. It's been fun to kind of advise a couple people who ask, you know, how do you get this texture? And then obviously with my background, I know how to get that texture, <laughs> you know, so that's really fun. But I love being able to kind of see how other people have been responding to it when they come in. Those with UGM want more people to use the space and collaborate with additional organizations and artists. Something Van Steenwick says is worth it. I remember growing up and being involved every once in a while with volunteer groups with the Union Gospel Mission. I really never thought I would be helping cultivate their art program like I am working with them now. Like It's so, so cool to think about. I would definitely recommend people like get involved, come help serve. To continue making this possible, the mission is looking for donations to help supply the art studio for items like canvas, sketch pads, and paint brushes. It's a blessing when we receive supply donations. A lot of churches and ministries give towards that program right now, but we're asking the public um, to help us reach our goal between six and eight thousand dollars for the art studio outreach program. And that covers the cost of all the supplies that we need to do the program. Well, that's my ask is for people to bring, you know, donations, financial or supply oriented, and also bring their hearts here to serve alongside us and to help people, you know, who are in need of that healing. A positive place to create art. It's just very much a, a safe space to play in the paint and heal from anything that's been holding you back. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Sarah McDonald. On Friday, you're invited to the Union Gospel Mission for Friendship Friday. You can stop by the art studio from 1 to 3 p.m. to make care cards, crafts, and art for people in need. For more information on the art studio and how you can make donations, we provided that information with this story on Cavaland.com. A lot of people don't know, Don, you're a pretty good artist yourself. I do like to draw and I do like to paint, and I haven't done many things lately. He is talented. Oh, it's thank amazing. you. Yes. <laughs>